joining us today. My name is Jamie Bell, and this session is going to be over the ball bearing guide replacement for the 05, 06, and D3000 and XL dishwashers. The first thing you need to do is open the door, and a lot of times what you're going to find in the bottom of the dishwasher or around the filter area is going to be a little gray plastic piece that has fallen apart off of the guide holder, the ball bearing holder. So, since we know we have this problem, what you want to do is twist your two ends on the basket. As you can see here, it turns, turn it towards the outside edge, lift the upper knife basket, pull the basket out because on the end of the basket you have a little um, nub that sticks up so it catches onto the peg so that when you pull the basket out, this will also pull out. So, once you have these in the out position, get your flathead screwdriver. I'll turn the dishwasher a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. And as you can see here, your ball bearing holder is right here. And the basket stop, the rear basket stop, is right here. So what you want to do is put your flathead screwdriver on the top of it, turn it towards the bottom, press, and it'll pop out. This is what it looks like here. You can see that the bottom has a little bit longer point that will go into the bottom of the rail, which will hold it in place. And then the top also goes into the top of the rail. Pull the rail out at this point. Pull your ball bearing holder out. And as you notice, there are four ball bearings. Remove the ball bearings by simply pressing. Do this over the door, not on the inside of the dishwasher, because if you drop the ball bearing, it will go into the filter area and also can go into the circulation pump or the drain pump. This little plastic piece, as you can see, was missing from here. Could create noise, could create the basket hard to go in and out. So, I have the new one. This is what the new one looks like. And as you can see, on one side you have a ridged edge, and on the other side it is flat and smooth. The smooth part is going to go towards the side of the basket. First, what you want to do is put the ball bearings back in the holder, and they just snap right in there, and there should be four. Then what you want to do is bend the edges. As you see, the inside with the ridge is going to go away from the rail. So it snaps into place. You can see as here, it slides. And there is a groove that these ball bearings roll in. So, you get your guide rail. Slide it back in until you get past the ball bearings. You might want to get a new basket stop because sometimes you will destroy these when you're taking them out with the flathead screwdriver. So, as you can see, it has the longer point and the shorter part. The bottom goes in here. Press it forward a little bit down. Oops, that's it. Go out there, press it in. You can hear it snap into place. And as you can see, when you get the basket in there, it'll ride a lot smoother. Okay? Now what you want to do is go to the other side. Go to the front. Turn your spray on a little bit so you can see. Turn here. Press it out. Pull this out. Your ball bearing guide holder out. Even though this one isn't damaged, I always recommend that you go ahead and change. If you change one, you might as well do them both because you're probably going to have two that you did order. Take the ball bearings out. Now 
ball bearings in, whoop, drop one. Put your ball bearing holder in, slide the rail back on. Basically, then what you want to do, come back around here, get my basket, always slide the rails in, it makes it a lot easier to line the wheels up. Put your top nub up here, wheel in here. Last wheel, lock the basket stops on the front. Slides in and out very smooth, very quiet. That's the way you change the basket stops, the guide rails, the ball bearing change, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to call our tech line. We'll be glad to help you. Thank you.